You're back, we're back. We're all back here on the Back 40 Firewood channel. Down here at my cousin, Cousin Woodhound Bill, or as also known as Slick Willie. And we are gonna do some fractal burning today. I've got a couple little pieces here just to see how it's done on. And then I have the, the big half, half round of basswood. This big guy right here, we're gonna see how that goes. So when he gets out here, I'm gonna have him explain this process. It's pretty interesting, pretty electrifying. Oh, here comes the train. All right, so we are here now, and there he is. Cousin Woodhound here, and he's got himself a little uh, project that he's been working on. What kind of wood is this? Fractal burning. This is that's basswood too. That's basswood. But basswood. So, without we're not going to go into too much detail about what everything is and what's here. But what is that now you're putting on there? It's uh, baking soda and water. It's. Uh, one tablespoon of baking soda to a cup of water. And the reason it's so brown is because I brushed it on some other ones that I had burned. Ah, uh, okay. I'll probably have to mix up a new batch to do. So baking soda, and that just helps with the, it, it just, the conductivity I, of the, of the, you know, the electricity. So it, basically what we're going to be doing is sending electrical currents through this wood, right? Yep. And it's going to burn it. And it's hopefully some... Hopefully. Unique, interesting patterns. <laughs> yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put the probes, we're going to try an end-to-end -end burn. And we're going to try way from this end. I don't know what's going to happen through this split here. All right, so we're powering on. Now we're going to power on. Okay, the fan came we on. We got the fan on. Okay, now this is the, we'll call it a rheostat. I'll just slowly turn up the... Slowly turn up the power. Okay, that end's starting to burn. And that's about 75%. Look at that. That's gonna be pretty cool. I'll tell you what takes the longest is to clean it, to clean all the charring out of the, the burn. This thing is, is just there we go. You don't want to do that. You don't want it to. You don't want it to flame up like that. <clears throat> you don't want big flame. No, because it then too. then it's just. It, yeah. See, I think that side down there now, because that's broke off as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shut this down. Shut off my power. Like I said, this is dangerous. It, it is dangerous. But I... Do not try this at home unless you know no. what you are doing. <laughs> um, I feel that my setup is safe. And you just started doing this... Just a couple months ago. A couple months ago? Um, <laughs> and what, uh, if I may ask... Well, what was your thought process the first night you tried this, or what were you thinking? <laughs> like, well, I started with the neon sign transformer, and uh, and that worked out, you know, relatively well, but it was really slow. And I did, then I watched some <laughs> YouTube videos <laughs> on how to make a microwave transformer. And the reason, uh. the reason I got, see, I <clears throat> I have some windows that I want to trim out in my house yet and this is my window casing it's hickory it's hickory and so i thought it'd be really neat to do some uh, burning yeah. on it and then had it finished for window trim so that's kind of that's the origin that's the origin of my and from uh, there my madness <laughs> from there it's spawned into i'm going to show you guys the collection here in a little bit <laughs> so 
so all right so okay. stand back let's do this we're gonna start here so i found a puddle here and we're gonna try we're gonna try it. one yeah. more bird on this piece and then we're gonna i'd like to get it to go from there to there but I hope you weren't like, really uh, attached to these pieces. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Right? There is no emotional attachment. Okay, good. Whatsoever. Worst case. One of the things is fan cut this way. Blows Worst case is I'll just turn it around throw and it show the, the other throw side. Throw it in a wood burner. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this end's starting well, to. That's turning out pretty neat. Fan out. So basically right now it's they're trying to connect right they're trying that's to what, connect yep exactly that's and the electrodes electricity is trying to connect yes and a lot of it depends on the <clears throat> moisture content of the wood oh it's it, starting it, to it likes it wet the neon, it's starting to like yeah travel up that one the, the neon transformer doesn't like it this way Okay, I think this is going to turn out pretty, pretty cool. And so then as you're, you adjust the dial according to like... When it starts to flame up, I just turn it down. Back it down, down, back a little it down bit. so it doesn't flame up. Because then you just get like burns on the wood. We'll turn it up here. So that, right there, that's full board. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> But it almost connected then. Yep. Oh, it is gonna now. We'll, we'll let those. It's gonna meet we'll up. We'll let those two connect. And then what it'll do is just burn a trench. It'll yep. just burn deeper and deeper. So then that's when you shut, that's it, shut it down. Shut it down. So we'll try and get something over in this area. This is how my <clears throat> baking soda solution gets brown. Picking up the. Picking up the char from the other burns. Ready? Okay, power on. Turning up the voltage here. Ooh, this one's branching out good. It's gonna meet. Yeah, let's go see the process of the <laughs> that's clean. The, that's the fun part. Now the work starts. <laughs> so for cleaning, you just I would, just water? Or is there something you need well, to... Well, after I get done scrubbing it, this is oxalic acid. It's a wood bleach. It brings out any, any staining from the burning and the... Hmm. Uh, is... Holy moly. Usually, if you, the water's on there, if there's any charring left, it'll look, um, it'll have kind of a white, whitish color to it. I'm just gonna scrub it some more. This is, you're starting to build a collection here. Yeah. Some of these pieces are, yeah, how many rows? This is. That's cedar. Cedar. This is red birch. Now look at that thing. That is really. Do you like this one? This is the one I'm going to try some epoxy on, I think. 
<laughs> That's what happens when it flames up. You get this burning, burning, uh, yeah. you, just, you just get burning on the wood, you know? So. Very cool. So this is the big half round now. We're gonna see if this burns, how this burns. <laughs> so you want it to burn to kind of start from here and go that way. Yep. So what I did obviously is just wet down this one area here. And I'm gonna take a paper towel and soak it in this the solution. I'm gonna put that up here so it's good and wet. Okay. And that way, this probe won't burn. Hmm. But this one should. Well, it will. Yeah. So. So that's kind of then you can can control you can somewhat. Can control it somewhat, yes. We'll see what happens. Now I have my power down here. And crank it up. The basswood is not uh, cooperating here. Burning straight down through. Nope. We got a little action on both ends now. It's burning, but it's just it's evenly. <laughs> like it's just, you know, there, <laughs> yeah. there's no branching. No. This just, I think it's just too soft. You see what you can do with that big chunk. Chunk of bass here. We'll see what happens. But thanks again. That is Cousin Bill, the wild man. <laughs> <laughs> it, was yeah. of, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad you came down it's, and to check, see, the, see the process and check it out and see what it was all about. So we're back from Slick Willie's, my cousins, and we unfortunately could not get the other half of this big piece of basswood to burn. The fractal burn anyway and i think the reason was i think that wood is just not very dense and it was holding a lot of moisture because the other piece of this wood that i cut check this out so it started to grow all of this like fungus right after the surface was exposed so there's like i said there's a lot of moisture in that wood so the big, the big piece, that burn didn't quite work out, but it was still pretty cool to go down there and see all that and, and watch it in action. And, and now I have, you know, if I see some pieces of wood that are kind of unique and they might work good, I can send them down and get some fractal burning done. Like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy and wild to watch. It is extremely dangerous. So do not attempt this or attempt that unless you know what you are doing. So thanks again, Cousin Bill, Cousin Woodhound. <laughs> so tomorrow night, the Back 40 live stream. We are almost to the milestone for Outside with Scheib. We want to get 1K for Scheib by the 4th of July. And we are almost there, Woodhounds. I don't I think it's, it's under 50 to go. So if you haven't gone over and checked out Outside with Scheib, go give him a look. Give him a subscribe, and tomorrow night on the Back 40 live stream, we are going to kick off the 4th of July weekend with a bang. It's going to be a good time. So we hope to see you guys there. Once again, Friday night, 8 p.m. Central, Back 40 live stream. And it's going to be a hot one. So we finally may have a couple pond plunges in the works. Oh, yes, it's going to be a good time. And like I said, it would be great if we could also be celebrating for our friend, fellow woodhound outside with Scheib, if we could be celebrating the 1k milestone i think that would be really awesome 
So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow night on the Backford live stream or in the next video. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.